Hi, everybody. <laughs> if you all only knew <laughs> what it has taken to get to this point, you just would not believe it. But I am so grateful to be with you guys tonight. It is the first episode of the Coded Podcast. Yay! I'm so excited, guys. I've just I mean, I just can't put into words how um, honored I am that you all are choosing to spend um, some of your time with me tonight. Um, My name is Stephanie Reynolds. I am the host of The Coded Podcast. I'm the founder of The Coded Woman's Network. Um, I am a Jesus girl. (laughs) I am an entrepreneur. I am an author. Um, I am an uh, ordained um, elder. I am a certified life coach. I am a sister, a daughter, all of those great things. And I'm also a mommy and I'm a wife. And so I'm going to introduce you to my clan because to know me is to know them. So that's my hubby, Brandon, and my two little ones, Noah and Bella, my babies. (laughs) Um, And so again, I'm so excited to have to be with you guys tonight. Um, The Coded Podcast is something that I'm just really passionate about. I'm really excited about the Coded brand in general, the Coded community. Um, This podcast is really about um, inspiring you, motivating you to be your most authentic self, to live your very best life and to unlock the code that is on the inside of you. Unlock your code to greatness, to destiny, to purpose. And so throughout this season, throughout this time, we'll have on different guests. We'll be doing a lot of different things. And I'm really, really excited about that. But tonight, I just wanted to take some time to introduce you to me, um, to give you my heart, to tell you what the Coded brand is, why Coded is important, why it's worthy of your time and your support, how it was birthed, why I'm passionate about it. Um, And I'm really looking forward to you joining the community and being a part of all that COVID had COVID. (laughs) Look, we've been in this pandemic too long. Anything that starts with C now, we're saying COVID. Why it's so important to be with Coded (laughs) and joining the Coded community. So um, the first thing that I want to do is let you know how you can find out more about us, right? And so you can go to www.codedwomen.org. And so you can find out more information about us there. Um, You can also, I'm going to put it around, put it at the bottom so you can see it. You can also find us on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube and you can find us on Instagram. On Instagram is coded, the number for this on YouTube, it's at the Coded TV, at Coded TV. And at, on Facebook, it is the Coded Woman's Network, okay? So please like, share, subscribe, really support what we're doing because it's really going to be an awesome thing. And my prayer is that it brings life to you. It helps you to walk in um, your most authentic self, to be the best you that you can be, and to really help you get to the place of destiny and purpose that has been ordained for you, right? So please support us, go to all of our different pages, share the podcast, get your friends involved, and be a part of this community. Um, The next thing that I want to do that is really important to me is I wanted to take a moment to thank some of the people who have just played such integral and pivotal pivotal um, roles in my life. They have been so encouraging, so supporting. Um, they're really one of the reasons why I'm doing this and why I've been able to unlock the code on the inside of me. And so I want to thank them. I want to take a moment just to let them know how important they are to me and how much I appreciate their labors of love. They've prayed with me. I've called them crying. I've called them upset. And they've just allowed me to grow and to process and to really move into who I am supposed to be. Um, And so I want to thank my husband. Um, he's one of the reasons why I'm doing the podcast because he, a couple of months ago, he was just like, Stephanie, you have to do it. Like I'm holding you accountable. I don't want to see you doing anything else for anybody else until you get this podcast going and you start doing, um, what God has called for you to do. And so I appreciate that push. I appreciate, I appreciate that support from him. My mom who has been my ride or die since the beginning. I mean, from the time that I was a teenager, whatever was in my mind to do, she made sure that it happened. And for 
a young person, that is so powerful and that's so empowering because she never told me I couldn't do it. If I wanted to write a book, if I wanted to have a conference, if I wanted to do whatever it was I wanted to do, she was right there with me and she struggled to make it happen. She made sure that she was there supporting me. And for that, I am forever grateful. And it really set a foundation in my life for faith to know that nothing is impossible. And it also helped to build up my confidence because she always told me that I could do it. Even when I didn't feel like it, even when I didn't think I could, she was always there to say, Stephanie, you could do it. And it's nothing like having somebody like that in your corner. So thank you, mom. My brother is here with me tonight. You all can't see him, but he's in the background. Um, And I appreciate him so much. He was here setting up lights for me, making sure that my setup was right and everything was good. And that meant so much for me, to me, because I had to take care of the babies. I had other things I needed to do. And this was something that was important. And he stopped what he was doing to make sure that it was right for me. So thank you, Chris, for that. I want to thank all of the pastors that have been in my life. Pastor Carla and Pastor Brian O'Neill coming into their ministry was a turning point in my life. Um, I was at a place where trauma was just speaking so loud in my life. The decisions I was making, um, the people that I was surrounding myself with, it was just, I was not in a good place. And I was trying to run away from it and God wouldn't let me. And instead of running away to California where I was trying to go, he led me to CCI with the O'Neills. And that was really the beginning of so much healing for me. Um, They gave me opportunities. They helped me to see who I was. Um, They helped to define and cultivate gifts on the inside of me. Um, And so Kanisha and Donovan and Anika and Sunika and just so many of them that were there who just poured into me tirelessly. I would call them. Um, Sanika, you know, I was going through some things a couple of years ago in my life and my marriage, and she was there for me. And Donovan and just Kanisha, I'm just so grateful that God had put them into my life um, at the time that he did, um, because be, they they really sowed a lot into me. I want to thank Prophetess June, who I've recently met, and she's spoken so many words into my life. And the different prophetic words, Lewis, Wembley, my pastor, who has spoken words into my life. Just there's so many people, Jamie Gill, um, Tanya Town- Townsend, just so many people who continue to speak life into me and who saw me even when I didn't see myself. And so for you, for that to you, I say thank you. I appreciate you. And what they've done for me is what I want to do for others. That's why coded is so important. That's why I'm so passionate about it because there's nothing like having somebody in your life who's able to see you when you can't see yourself, who's able to say, no, you were made for this. You're not your situation. I don't care what you think. You are able to do whatever it is that God has called for you to do. And so that's really what I want to empower you in. That's what I want to cultivate community to be able to um, help inspire um, that in others. And so I'm really excited about it. And I wanted to just take that quick moment just to let them know how much I appreciate them. Um, Okay. So now that I've gone through all of that, now let's get into what CODED is. Um, The best way I think that I can tell you about CODED is to tell you how it started, where it was birthed. Um, A couple of years ago, right before COVID hit, I had just had my son and I was going through one of the most difficult times in my life. My husband and I were having some challenges and it was just a very... Um, difficult time, right? Because I, and then on top of that, I just had a baby. So your emotions are already out of whack, right? After you have a child. And so everything was just intensified in that moment. And then we, COVID hits, all that's happening with that. And I was just at a very, very, um, just a very dark time in my life, a very uh, challenging time in my life. And as I was going through the process and the journey of all of that, God began to speak to me about how I could not let the situations keep me from being who it was I was supposed to be. Because oftentimes when situations and challenges come into our lives, we allow it to begin to define us. 
And so what it does is it begins to chip away, if we allow it to, it begins to chip away at our identity and chip away at what we know we're supposed to be because our situation is looking so different from that, right? And so God really began to just speak to me like, no, this situation is happening to you, but it does not define you. In fact, if you allow it to, it will further unlock what I've put on the inside of you because it's cultivating those things. So you can either choose to respond to it in a place where you allow those wounds to resonate and to make you bitter, or you can grow from it. You can learn from it. You can be resilient through it. You can choose to stand in the midst of it. You can choose to journey your way through it. And so as I began to shift my mindset and as I began to allow God to even bring healing to places, um, it was a time of realization for me. Um, in a lot of different ways, I began to see some places in my life that I needed to to give some attention to. I needed to um, allow God to bring some healing to some places. And and so as I went through that through that journey, coded was really birthed out of that. And um, I was actually going to have an a conference right before COVID hit. And then when COVID hit, obviously everything changed. Um, and so throughout the years, I kind of got busy. Um, I got scared. I got nervous. Um, I began to second guess myself. And finally, I got to a place where I said, no, I was made for this, right? Everything God had called me to do, everything he's put on the inside of me, I'm made for it. And so I just made up in my mind that I was going to go for it and I was going to do everything that I was supposed to do. And so that's really how Coded was birthed. That's how it was, it was formed. It was formed from a place of trauma <laughs> and, and hurt. And, you know, feeling like I wanted to give up and feeling like I couldn't do it and I wasn't worthy of it. And how could I be this when my situation was telling me that? How could I be called to all of these things when it felt like everything was so far out of my grasp? And in that place, as I allowed God to heal, he birthed coded. And that's really what my heart is for coded is that one, we would be restored, right? Because we often talk about purpose. We often talk about destiny, but a lot of times we can think that we are pursuing purpose, but if we have not been healed, that purpose might not necessarily be accurate because we might be pursuing it based off of a perception that is grounded in trauma and hurt and dysfunction. And so until we can, and that's why you look and you see people who have achieved such high levels of success and they end up committing suicide or they end up being unhappy or I've given all of my life, all of my money, all of my time to this to get there and realize this is not even really who I want to be. I'm pursuing this because of something else that happened in my life. I want to be this because of something else that has um, wounded me. And so I'm trying to heal that wound and I'm trying to fix that, fix that brokenness. And so I'm pursuing things that really are not connected to who I'm supposed to be and what my purpose is. And that's why we're not fulfilled. That's why it feels like we're running this rat race. And so the first step is really restoration and healing, allowing God to go into those places on the inside of us and do the work, do the surgery, being able to expose ourselves and say, hey, this happened to me. Hey, you know, it wounded me when this happened, not to just keep going and think that things are going to heal on its own. Because what happens is if you ever think about a wound, right, you can forget about it for a long time, right? If you've hurt yourself, have you ever scratched yourself, got a paper cut? You can forget about it until you touch it, right? Until you bang it up against something. And all of a sudden it reminds you that wound is still there. And that's what happens so often in life. We can think that we've been healed from something until something touches it, until something triggers it. And then we realize that, you know, there are still some places that that need to be restored and need to be, be healed. And so that's the first step in coded is really just getting us to a place of vulnerability to be our truest self, that myself, and who I think I am is not based upon what life has made me because those are two different things. Life and situations can make you something, whereas God has destined you to be someone, 
those can be two very different things. And so we have to be in a place where we are aligned with God's purpose, God's identity for us, God's destiny for us, and not necessarily what we've allowed life to make us because we haven't been healed from the traumas and the challenges that we've experienced. The second thing is inspiration, right? So once we know who we are, then it's about knowing why we are here. So I want to inspire you to really pursue why you are here. What is your purpose? What were you uniquely um, designed to do? Who were you unique, uniquely designed to be? Right. Because oftentimes we build backwards. We build the house first without ever addressing the foundation. And so we have to do things the right way. First, we find out who we really are and then we find out why we're really here. Because like Miles, I use this um, uh, quote all the time because I just think it's amazing. It was Miles Monroe. I wish I wish I could say that I uh, came up with it, but I did it. <laughs> but he says, when you don't know the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. So when we don't know why we're here, we are bound to abuse the gifts the talents, all that God has put on the inside of us, okay? So first restoration, then inspiration, and then it's motivation, right? Part of um, what I do is I'm a motivational speaker. My desire is to motivate you to get up and do what it is God has called for you to do, not to be bound by challenges, not to be bound and limited by limiting beliefs, not to feel like you can't do it, you're not good enough, not to allow all of these thoughts that come and keep us from moving forward to stop you, but to motivate you to get up and maximize your moment maximize your gifts, maximize who God has called for you to be, and just do it, right? Because you were made for this. And so that's kind of the three-pronged, oh, can you see me? There you go. That's the three-pronged um, kind of tenets of coded. And then on top of that, or the, the bridge, I guess, that we use to get to that is to build authentic relationships. There is this um, fallacy that women can't get along with each other, that we don't support each other, we're constantly competing with each other. But that only comes because oftentimes we build relationships from a broken place, right? But when we're whole and complete, I'm, I want you to shine even greater than I'm shining. I want you to get to the place that you're supposed to be to, and I'm going to push you um, because I recognize that pushing you, even in pushing you, I'm moving forward, right? And so there's no competition because we're so confident in who it is that we are. I don't have to compete with you because I recognize I'm better at being Stephanie than I am at being you, right? And so as we get hold, as we get complete, then we're able to build authentic relationships. We're able to network. We're able to connect. We're able to partner. And we're able to really help leverage those relationships into us all getting to where we're supposed to be. Um, and then it's also unlocking purpose, right? So I talked about that, um, really helping us to understand who we are, why we're here, um, and what it is that God has called for us to do. And then the last thing is encountering God's love. Right. And so we want to be able to encounter the love of God. We want to have environments. We want to have um, we want to have opportunities for you to really understand the love of God, to really understand who God is, what he means, um, how he feels about you. And that is done also through relationships. Right. It's done through us loving each other accurately, but first loving ourselves accurately. And so that is coded. Um, in a nutshell. And so we're going to be doing a lot of different things to help cultivate that, to help propel that, to help to bring those things into fruition. And as you partner with us, as you connect with us, as you journey with us, my desire is that you become everything you are supposed to be. Okay. So um, the next thing I want to do is tell you a little bit about the conference. Um, I know I've been posting things about it, but I'm really, guys, I'm so excited about this conference. And it's not, and I use conference just because I like coded conference, the alliteration of it all. I just think it flowed, but it's not going to be your um, typical conference. Like, it's not about coming, hearing people speak and, you know, getting a, a goodie bag and, and walking away and your life being the same. That's not what this is about. 
This is about building community. This is about holding ourselves accountable. This is about pushing us into the place that we're supposed to be. This is about igniting a fire. This is about bringing restoration and healing to those places that may need it. This is about um, being inspired. This is about getting the tools, right, that you can walk away with to help truly live your best life. That that is not just a meme, that is not just a saying that we say, but that you can walk away truly restored, inspired, and motivated to live your best life and be your very best self. So I'm going to play the quick trailer um, and then I'll give you a little bit more information about it. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! I'm telling you guys, I'm so excited about these speakers. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them, and then I'm really not going to be with you much longer for tonight, um, because again, I just wanted to introduce you to Coded, introduce you to me. Um, next week, though, we have an amazing guest. So make sure that you tune in. She is going to be so awesome. You're going to love her. You're going to be inspired by her, motivated by her, all of those great things. So make sure you tune in. Um, watch our page um, to be able to get more information about who it is and all that good stuff. But Coded Conference, right? So we have some amazing speakers. We have Kanisha Bird, who is such a powerhouse. Her story is amazing. Um, she's going to be speaking. We have Tanya Townsend, who is the soul Lucianist, right? And so she's going to come and she's going to be talking. We have Prophetess June Hollingsworth, who is the bomb.com, right? We have Jamie Gill, who is has such an inspirational story. She has a powerful story, but she's so inspirational in, in terms of just wanting you to really look introspectively. Um, we have my mom, Becky Brewer, who's going to be ministering to um, the Titus women, right? Because that is such an integral role in our society that has been, that has not been given the honor um, that it deserves, but also maybe have not been stepping up. <laughs> And so um, for whatever reason, um, maybe they're not being heard or maybe they don't feel like they're relevant um, in this culture, but you are so relevant. And so she's going to be speaking to the Titus women and just how important it is to help to teach the younger generation and to pour into them and how important it is for them to be whole and complete so that when you pour, you're pouring from a, a whole place. Um, we're going to have uh, myself, I'm going to be speaking. Um, am I forgetting anybody? I think that's everybody. Let me put, look, let me pull it up real quick. I think that's everybody. Um, but, I, oh, no, it's not. Jasmine Parham. I'm sorry, um, Jasmine. Um, Jasmine Parham Sams. <laughs> I am so excited to have her on. She was actually going to be the my speaker for the first Coded conference that I did, um, that I was going to do. And then because of COVID, obviously, we had to stop it. But I'm so excited to have her on. She's another person who has poured into me and spoken to my life and just encouraged me as a sister. So I appreciate her. So this is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome time. It's going to be virtual. So you don't have to worry about coming in or anything like that. It's going to be virtual. When you sign up, when you register, we'll make sure that as we get closer to the event, you'll have the links to log into the sessions, um, to do it all virtually, all online. It's going to be simple. We're going to give you virtual, um, um, I forgot what you call them, um, uh, you know, the little uh, the gift bags, but they call it swag bags. You're going to get your virtual swag bags that are going to give you coupons and different items. Like we're really, it's, it's going to be really, really good. So to um, register for that, you can go to my website. It is www.codedwomen.org. Um, I'm going to actually put it down here at the ticker so that you can see it. Uh, there we go. Codedwomen.org. Okay. www.codedwomen.org. You can go there, click on coded conference. It'll take you to the registration page. 
all of April is going to be early registration rate. So if you register in April, um, you'll get a discount. And then uh, once we get to May, um, it'll be general admission. And then if you wait until June to register, there will be um, a late registration fee. So you save if you if you uh, go ahead and register now. OK, um, again, you can do that at codedwomen.org. That is all that I have for you tonight. Um, the last thing that I want to do, I want to end every podcast with um, just a maximizing moment. Um, the name of my book is Maximize Your Monday. It is now available on Amazon. So you can go there and you can order the book if you want to. <laughs> um, but it's called Maximize Your Monday. And it's all about making the most of our moments, making the most out of our week, using the first day of the week to really um, create uh create a mindset that says this week is going to be better than last week. This week is going to be productive. This week is going to be, um, uh, I'm going to accomplish what I wasn't able to accomplish last week. I'm going to make this week count. So I want to end every, um, podcast with just a little maximizing minute, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to end for the night. Please come back next week, um, Thursday at seven o'clock. We stream again from Facebook. Um, that's Coded Women's Network. You can go to our Facebook page. You can go to YouTube. We stream live from there at Coded TV. Um, and I'm trying to work out. I think we actually will be streaming from my website. Um, but you can definitely go to Facebook and to uh, YouTube. Make sure you're sharing, you're liking, you're passing it along, right? This is all about building community, supporting one another, and really creating this movement of women who are committed to being our very best selves. All right, so here's the maximizing minute. All right, so maximizing minute. We are all destined, coded, right, for something great. You're not what you've went through, what you've gone through, but what you've gone through can be a catalyst to you becoming who God has created you to be. The key is, not to let the challenges and the trauma and the hurt and the betrayal and the wounds, not to let those things define us, but to allow God to heal us so, those, so that those things propel us and give us that extra capacity to ultimately be able to go and become who God has called for us to be and called for us to do. So I encourage you to allow God to heal you, to choose purpose, to walk in the identity that God has given you because at the end of the day, you were made for this. Thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate it. My name is Stephanie Reynolds. You can find me on all of our coded social media. I look forward to seeing you again next week and uh, you all have a great rest of your night.